rising out of sight, and the dollar is in sorry shape tonight. What the dollar used to get us won't buy a head of lettuce, and the economic forecast, it ain't bright. But amidst the clouds, I spot a shining ray. I can almost glimpse a new and better day. I've devised a plan of action, worked it down to the last fraction, and I'm going in action here today. Doo -doo. I'm changing my name to Chrysler. I am going down to Washington, D.C. I'll tell some power broker what he did. Fry a cocoa will be perfectly acceptable to me. I'm changing my name to Chrysler. I am heading for that great receiving line. So when they hand a million grand out, I'll be standing with my hand out. I'll get mine to do. Well, my creditors are screaming for their dough. I'll be proud to tell them all where they can go. Oh, they won't have to fuss and holler. They'll be paid to the last dollar where the land of endless money seems to flow. I'll be proud to tell them all what they can do. It's a matter of a simple form or two. It's not just remuneration, it's a liberal education. Aren't you kind of glad that I'm in debt to you? I'm changing my name to Chrysler. I am going down to Washington, D.C. I'll tell some power broker what he did. Fry a cocoa will be perfectly acceptable to me. I'm changing my name to Chrysler. I am heading for that great receiving line, so when they hand a million grand out, I'll be standing with my hand out, I'll get mine. Get mine! When the first amphibian crawled out of the slime, we've been struggling in an unrelenting climb. We were hardly up and walking before money started talking, and it said that failure is an awful crime. Well, it's been this way for a millennium or two, but now it seems that there's a different point of view. If you're a corporate titanic and your failure is gigantic... Yes. <laughs> Excellent. So Ever since we launched our freedom attack, though the rest of us are hurt, war's been good for Halliburton and Dick Cheney. He's not sweating his next check. Well, I think I've found a way to set things right. I believe there is a way out of this plight. We'll draft the politicians and the ones who make munitions and send them off to fight their own damn war. <laughs>